Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm here for another city pickups video. So it's gonna be for November 2020. But other than that though, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up is Day of the Dead by Hollywood Undead. I really like this band. I think they're a great band. Not one of their best albums for me, but still good album here. I'm glad to have this. I've been wanting it for quite a while now. At least since earlier this year or some point last year. That's how long I've been wanting this. Finally got it. So, yeah, you got a lot of great songs on here like How We Roll. Of course, the title track was another good song on this album. Usual Suspects was pretty good. War Child is a decent song. Not one of my favorites on here, but still decent at best. Gravity is one of the weaker songs on the album, but it's still a good song. And Save Me was a great closing track. So yeah, you still got a lot of great songs on this album. And I want to show you guys something inside of the booklet that I found out when this came in the mail recently. It is signed from all of the members of the band, all six members. So it's really awesome. And I did get this online on eBay. Got a really good deal on it. So yeah. Hollywood Undead, Day of the Dead, really great album there. Not one of my favorites, like I said, but still a very good album. Okay, up next is Marilyn Manson, The Golden Age of Grotesque. This is their 2003 album. This is another album I've been wanting for a while. This one I've been wanting for the last few weeks or so. Glad I was finally able to get it. Got songs like This Is The New Shit. Mob Scene, Use Your use your Fist and Not Your Mouth, Saint, the title track as well is another good song on this album. The only song I didn't really give a shit about on this album was the song Paranoia or whatever you, or however you pronounce that shit. The song was fucking cringe as fuck, but yeah, the rest of the album was pretty good. So, Marilyn Manson, The Golden Age of Grotesque, really good stuff here got some of their best singles in my opinion so that's why I chose it first as my first ever Marilyn Manson CD okay up next is Monument by Miss May I I'm glad to have this album before the year was over with so yeah it's really cool got a good deal on this one as well only paid six dollars and something for this on eBay so I got a good deal it's in like new condition so that's pretty cool this is actually a slip cover, so here's what it looks like without the slip thing. But I do prefer to have the slip thing on it because it's just kind of a bland album art without the slip case. But it's fine though. But yeah, the slip case makes it look even better. Only 10 tracks, only around 34 minutes and something or 35 minutes and something for the standard edition since this is their standard edition. But yeah, it's still a good album. You got songs like the title track Monument. Answers was really good. Relentless Chaos, one of my favorite Miss May I songs of all time. Really great song there. Our Kings was really good. So, yeah, you got a lot of great songs on Monument by Miss May I. So, yeah, Monument by Miss May I. Definitely glad to have this, finally. Okay, next up is Atlas by Parkway Drive. This was my first album I ever bought from this band. And yeah, was it a good start? Probably not, but still got some good songs on here like Dark Days. Dark Days is definitely my favorite song on here. It's just so heavy and I really like the chorus on this one. Really great chorus on this track. Title track was pretty good. Swing was a good song. I even liked the closing track, Blue and the Gray, just to name a few songs or whatnot. But yeah, Atlas by Parkway Drive. Still a good album from these guys. All right, just a few more left. Okay, so the next album, I recently went to Big Lots and got this for only $5. That's a good deal. And it is Pink and her 2008 album, Fun House. I'm actually surprised that this is the explicit version because sometimes Big Lots is one of those stores that sell CDs, but they don't always have explicit versions. But for this, luckily, when I went there recently, they had this, and I saw it, so I thought I would get it. Very good deal there for only $5. So yeah, with this album, you got songs like 
So What, Sober, I Don't Believe You, which is a beautiful ballad. I really love that song, Please Don't Leave Me. Of course, you got the title track, Glitter in the Air was a good song. So, yeah, you got a lot of good songs on this album. So, yeah, Phone House by Pink. Definitely a great album here. And I can't believe it's already over a decade because I remember when I first heard the song So What back in 2008. Definitely a great song there, and I just can't believe this album is like 12 years old because time goes by way too fast. It really does. All right, just two more albums left. So these next two albums, I'll just go ahead and show them together since they're both by the same band. This is Queen Drake, Promised Land, and this is Queen Drake Tribe. Tribe is not one of their best, but yeah. Promised Land by Queen Drake and Tribe by Queen Drake. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the CD Pickups video. Hope you guys will enjoy this video. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of these bands and these albums and all that good stuff. But other than that, I will see y'all next time. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, see y'all next time. Peace.